Hello, Dave Sonata Guitars. Different review. I'm doing it in the comfort of my own home. Don Electro U2 2007 959 reissue. <laughs> Jimmy Page used one in Cashmere and quite a few other Led Zeppelin songs. So, Dan Electro U2, give you a rundown of all the features. Let me just turn the. Uh, which, that's the volume, isn't it? <laughs> You've got two lipstick Dan Electro pickups. Oh, by the way, this is this is a white one in gold hardware. Woo! So, you got two lipstick pickups, usual Dan Electro bridge, you know, just a bit of wood basically mounted onto a bit of metal. Um, down here you've got a three-way selector switch. Next along you have a dual concentric volume and tone for the neck pickup. And the next along from that you have the dual concentric volume and tone for the bridge pickup. There you go. So let's, I'll give you a rundown of the sounds it's things got. Um, this is the clean tones. So this is the bridge, yes, the bridge lipstick pickup. It's very quiet and I'll, I'll, I'll explain something in a minute. <laughs> very thin um, I'm going to go to the net pickup for the minute because I'll, I'll explain why in a minute but this is the net pickup it's a bit you know, it's not a usual net pickup sound because obviously the pickup's mounted further back from the neck normally they're about there somewhere but obviously this is further back and it's also slanted too so it does have an effect on the overall tone when they're both on the guitar is the loudest it can be and I think most people use it in the middle position I don't I know Jimmy Page does I know Rory Gallagher did um, I don't know many people who just use the pickups alone I mean I'm probably wrong but from what I know uh, so this is the middle pickup uh, selection both pickups on and you can hear it's like substantially louder <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. Like this is the, the bridge pickup alone. To the neck. So I think that's why most people used it in the middle. It kind of creates like a more of a. Well, it's hum cancelling as well. It's not so loud. So it's kind of like a humbucker. So as I said earlier on, they have dual concentric controls. Bottom one's tone. As you can hear, it goes wah wah. Not until the very last second now. Uh, and the top one's volume. And they're very difficult to get to, but they're feel cool, don't they? I mean, they've got little top hats. Um, yeah, I mean, you got usual, you know, uh, rosewood board. This, this one's white, as I say. This is a limited, uh, I think it was a limited run, I don't know. Uh, mainly 2009. Uh, on the back, that's where your pickups are attached to. That's your neck, uh, bolt. You know, the Coke uh, bottle headstock, I think it's called. You know, usual down that throw machine heads. Um, let's do some sounds in a middle position. as well. That's kind of like with, um, well, that's a tube screamer on it, 
from clean. So it just gives it an extra, extra bite. Full distortion's fun, how it does like to feed back a lot on you. But anyway, this is uh, the full distortion sound, which is, yeah, cool. You can get away with doing this. <laughs> Kind of a bit silly now. Uh, net pickup in full distortions, it's not like a net pickup sound at all, it's, it's a bit different. <laughs> Middle's nice. <laughs> Like a real kind of twang. I don't see any way to describe it really. It's a very, very unique sounding guitar these Dan Electros are. And I say it's, it's like hardened cardboard for a scratch plate, three screws, you can actually lift it up. <laughs> it's, I don't know, they feel fragile, but they're, they're not. It's a very strange thing. It's like you're playing something that's going to break any uh, in five seconds, but it, 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 they're not. They're more robust than that. Um, but they are great guitars. <laughs> So, uh, let's do some, I'm, I'm ripping my shirt open here, this is not good. It does classic rock. It's really cool, I like it a lot. It really does, so it does that cashmere of Jimmy Page thing, it really does. I love it, it's a nice guitar, but... I do find the controls a bit hard to get hold of, that's my only real qualm with it. They're very hard to get hold of, I mean, the volume being on top is really good, but you do tend to... If you're in a rush, you will you grab the tone as well, <laughs> which isn't isn't a really good thing, but either way. Cool guitar, and they say you can hear it's not, it's uh, hum cancelling in the middle. So basically it's just like a hump, it's like a single humbucker, it's like a middle humbucker on like say those poor black beauty or something. Love that headstock. You gotta love a retro headstock. I should edit this and make it say Dave. Um But yeah, cool guitar, Dan Electro, U2, this is 2009 one, so it's not a vintage one, but we have demoed a vintage one. Uh from 2009, uh U2. I think I've just reiterated myself mentally. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and there you go.